Hello everyone, hello, my name is Raquel Madeira, I'm your health sessions coach and today I'm here to share with you um, about cheat days. Are they good for us? Are they not good for us? So if you are trying to lose weight, if you are trying to burn fat, what should you do? Should you, do, uh, should you have a, um, a cheat day? Should you eat well all always so this is what i'm going to share with you so as you know you have 24 hours to see this live here so if you are if you cannot join this live um you can always hello you can always watch it later uh, it will be available on on here for 24 hours and then i will upload it on my youtube channel so the sub subscribe my youtube channel and you'll see the full video there later on i'll be also on facebook but speaking in portuguese regarding same subject all right so as you know during the live feel free to uh, text me to contact me to get your questions it will be my pleasure to answer all your questions so and go straight to this uh, subject uh, shit days are good or bad for us if you are trying to burn fat to lose weight if you be if you have been following me um, on social media if you know my story if you don't, I will share a little bit of my story um, with you. I'm a fitness professional, as you know, also an on online um, digital online um, entrepreneur and also a mother. And uh, I have been dieting um, for almost 10 years. It all started when I started uh, um, my university, my studies. Um, that thing about the perfect body and I didn't fit on that perfect body and I started dieting and for almost 10, um, 10 years I was dieting on off on off uh, I've been searching a lot of uh, this subject about shit days but what I'm going to share with you uh, because you have always uh, pros and cons um, and my personal advice to you is uh, uh, try both ways and uh, do whatever is gonna work for you. We are all different, so maybe what's going to work with you with me maybe is not going to work with you. So my personal um, um, advice for you is try and see what it works for you. It doesn't matter if I'm a fitness professional and one way works for me because if you try, if it doesn't work for you, is no way and there's no point you are doing it. So, um, my personal opinion regarding shit days, they are very important. Well, we all need um, those meals, uh, those treats, as we know, they are not really healthy, but uh, we need that spiritually spiritually uh, for our soul we need those kind of foods we call that comfort food the the thing is when i was dieting i'm gonna tell you for i was trying for six days a week i was depriving myself for uh, almost everything i was counting calories i was counting um the meals i was having a day i was counting everything it was very stressful i was depriving myself for um essential nutrients and when i had my my shit day as i was uh, allowing myself to have one shit day a week i was eating everything and what i mean by everything is literally everything um since the day started, I was trying to have a, a good health, a, a healthy breakfast, but after that I was eating everything, literally from pizza to nuts to uh, anything. So I was having a, not 24 hours, but maybe 12 hours of eating constantly because my brain was telling me 
for six days I cannot have this for six days I cannot eat chocolate I cannot eat uh, pizza I cannot eat fries I cannot eat uh, ice cream so basically what my brain was saying to me uh, eat everything now because for a week again you are not having this so literally I was eating everything on that day and then I was feeling so bad inside and outside psychologically I was like ruined frustrated sad disappointed with myself the next day I was recovering from it so usually I could not train because I was feeling so full still uh, still feeling guilty bad about myself etc so maybe I was training two days later and sometimes on Tuesday sometimes I was allowing myself uh, to do this on Sunday it, uh, it was my off day so usually on Tuesday I was still feeling full um, literally didn't work for me with that I'm not saying you cannot have that some people for my experience some of my clients they prefer to have a, a six days where they really eat well but I don't tell them to do diets thank you Fatima I don't tell them to do diets so I tell them eat as much uh, good and healthy as possible but if you are going out, if you are having a, um, a birthday party, etc., go and eat something um, and enjoy yourself. And also, uh, they need to eat healthy, but they need also to like what they are eating. There's no point they are having a healthy diet and they are uh, literally eating things they are not enjoying. So what my clients do? They eat well for six days, some of my clients, and once a week, they allow themselves to have a meal, an ice cream, something they know they are not is not so good, but they need it. And I usually say that to them. If you are in a process of losing weight and if you just eat rubbish, it's not because you eat one healthy meal you are going to burn fat. And it's exactly the same when you are eating well, and when you're trying to lose weight, you are eating well. It's not because you are having one cheat meal, it's going to ruin the process. Hello dear, merhaba. So it's exactly the same. So my personal opinion, having both experience, if you choose and if you think it works for you, Eating as much good and healthy as possible on six days. I mean no diets. I mean eating well things as you enjoy One day once a week allow yourself to have something as you enjoy but take in consideration portion control and if you have any feeling like guilty frustration you are not enjoying you are not doing the process well you should enjoy a meal even if it's chips, even if it's pizza, even if it's a burger, an ice cream, whatever you are having, you have to enjoy it and not feel feeling guilty about it. You may feel guilty about it when you overdo it. So on your shit day, you should not have this world and another world. So what I mean is you should not have 12 hours of eating rubbish like I, I was doing. So if it works for you doing this way, do it, but take in consideration on your shit day, choose one meal and then go back to your normal eating. But as, as I said, if you eat things that you're enjoying, you are not craving things because you know it's there and you can have it. My personal opinion now, what it's working for me right now, I don't have any more one shit day. What I do is I allow myself to have some shit meals during my week. So what I mean is, um, sometimes I'm craving for, I don't know, um, chips. It's not often, but sometimes I want something salty. So I allow myself to buy a little package of it, to eat them, not feeling any guilty about it, but I'm eating healthy the rest of my day. 
or sometimes I'm craving something sweet, I allow myself to have usually after meals um, something sweet. Can have a piece of chocolate, can be ice cream, can be uh, a cookie, anything as is gonna give me some pleasure but is under control so the portion is under control so I have maybe one or two cookies and that's enough I do not feel guilty about it so I don't allow any of those bad feelings to come into me and also in the rest of my day I'm eating healthy and it's the way it's working for me right now so as I said I'm not eating in one day everything bad I allow myself maybe two times three times a week to have some things as they are not so good but I enjoy myself so the question is are shit days good or bad it depends they are good if you know um, you can control yourself if you don't feel guilty or frustrated or any of those bad feelings and if you feel good about yourself and if it's working for you or you can have shit meals so I prefer my opinion and what is working for me I don't have a shit day I have a shit meal sometimes I allow myself to have shit meals Okay, so this is the information I want to share with you. I hope it makes sense for you. Right now, I have a question for you or I have a task for you. So if you are in a process of losing fat, toning of a body transformation, I want you to think about if you allow yourself to have shit meals or, sorry, if you allow yourself to have shit days. Which one are you doing and if it's working for you are you overeating when you are when you are having one shit day or are you feeling more controlled when you are having a shit meal what is going what is working for you and uh, if uh, you are trying one and it's not working try another way if you also lose control if you are having more often shit meals um, if it's better for you to control yourself for six days and one day you allow yourself sometimes to have a shit meal try the different way try both them and see which one which one is working for you okay so this is my uh, task for you today I hope it does make sense for you and I also want to share with you um, and I have been saying this for a long time I'm doing a free workshop about how to burn fat with no diets in just five steps so today I just recorded my first video the first step the first first rule is um, already recorded I'm also building my website RaquelMadeira.com so if you want to take a look is um, is made with so much love but it's taking time because I want everything to be as much perfect and clear uh, as possible so um, this is the information I want to share with you um, if you want to go there give me your feedback tell me about uh, about you also comment below or go on YouTube and uh, watch the video and comment there what you think about the information I just shared with you you know you can have all of my service uh, online my best me program my best nutri and my best active best me program you're gonna have nutrition counseling you're gonna have motivation and you're gonna have uh, your workout as you can do at your home if you want just want to check your nutrition and you know 80% of your results are your nutrition you have your best nutri and also if you just want a workout to give you more energy and to make you push harder you have your best active so this is the services I have all of them online also personal training if you live uh, nearby Lisbon if you want to, to join on personal training sessions um, if you want to know anything else about those services just comment below or send me a private message I would love to know about yourself if you have any another question about any other subject fitness motivation goal setting um, workout gym etc just comment or send me a private message it was a pleasure to be here with you thank you for your time and we're gonna see you very soon 
Have a great day. Bye-bye.